Hey foodies, I'm gonna show you how to make chocolate truffles. Yes, that's right, you heard right, chocolate truffles. I'm not baking with flour or anything like that this time because I love chocolate and chocolate's awesome and everybody loves to taste chocolate. So what you wanna start with to make, we need to start with the filling because the filling needs to set up in the fridge and just cool. So we're gonna have a half a cup of tempered chocolate. If you need to know how to make tempered chocolate, you can check out the video in the link description, in, in, sorry, in the description below. And so what we wanna do is we wanna add a half a cup of tempered chocolate. I use my spatula. Look at that. Oh, I wanna get every drop, because this is good stuff. I'm using a dark chocolate, um, mainly because I can always add cream or milk. Then you wanna add in about a tablespoon of butter, and I wanna stir it until the butter melts down and softens. The butter adds just a little bit of sheen and, and just adds a little bit more body to the chocolate itself. Okay, now I've got triple sec. You can use rum or any, your favorite alcohol. You can use cream. You can use anything you like, but I'm using triple sec. And that's this, a half a cup of triple sec. I know it sounds like a lot. And it might look like it's got too much in there, but I'm making a, a, a soft or a runny ganache. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge for about 20 minutes. While it's in the fridge, we're gonna do our chocolate molds. So I've got a big thing of tempered chocolate, which look at that, that, that that's gorgeous. Mm. Oh, I can't get over that, okay. So I've got two different molds because I'm gonna fill them and it's just kind of fun. So we start by pouring chocolate onto the molds. Yes, it's messy. That's okay, because whatever I don't use, I just scrape back into the bowl. Okay. Let me get my offset. Scrape that to the side. Make sure I've got everything set there. You want to make sure every mold is full to the brim. And then I want to scrape it off. Just like that. Now for some noisy parts. I'm doing this to get the air bubbles out. And right here you can see little air bubbles coming up. That's exactly what you want to have. Okay, now I'm going to let that pour out. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look beautiful? Okay, one more scrape. Okay, and then I'm going to leave it upside down on there while I do the next one. So I'm gonna let those sit for about three to five minutes, and then I'll, I'll show you, we scrape them one more time, and then I put them in the fridge for about 10 minutes for them to set up completely. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. Oh my goodness, it looks beautiful. So I'm gonna take my scraper, make sure it's got a nice clean edge, and I'm gonna clean the edge right off. Look at that, gorgeous, gorgeous. Let's do the other one. Oh, just as beautiful. The reason why you want to scrape it now instead of later is because if you scrape it later, it's going to just break apart on you. Okay, so this is going to go on the fridge for about 10 minutes, and then we're going to put our filling in it. Okay, so I've got sauce, and it's a little bit thicker. It's exactly what I want. Now I'm going to put it into a piping bag. I can do this without making too big of a mess. 
Oh, look at that. Look at that. This would be wonderful. Drizzled over ice cream and all those yummy things. Okay, that's good. I'm just gonna twist off that. And you can see how the bottom, how, how they look very shiny compared to this one, which isn't very shiny. So when they're really glossy, you know they've set up. So there's a few here that haven't fully set up, but I think I can still work it because they're just gonna go back in the fridge anyway. So now, I'm gonna hold it upright, cut off a bit, and I'm gonna hold it and then fill it about two thirds of the way full. So I'm just gonna wipe up the little drips that I had. Okay, that's gonna go back in the fridge and I'm just gonna let them set up just for about five more minutes. Okay, so I've just had these in the fridge and you can see they've created a bit of a skim or a skin on the top. So now there's two ways that we can cap them is we can just pour chocolate on top very delicately and then scrape it off or we can use a piping bag. I've tried pouring it on and scraping it off and it's just, I've failed miserably and I find just capping them with the piping bag just works really, really well. So I'm gonna get a nice big spoon and I've got my tempered chocolate here still. And I'm gonna scoop in chocolate. Oh my God, you can smell it here. Oh, it smells so good. And I might even have enough chocolate left over to do some chocolate bars, which is exciting. Okay, so. You want to hold it upright, set the tip off, and then just fill the cavity just enough. That first one was a little bit much. Let's see. Oh, look at that, almost perfect. And then I can put them back in the fridge for a few minutes just to set up and then we'll, we'll pull them out, crack them and you can see exactly what they look like when they're all done. There we go, look at these, they look great. And I'm just checking them quickly. Yeah, they're all set up. So typically when you work with chocolates and they're in their final stages, you wanna put like a rubber glove on so that you don't transfer fingerprints or, or anything like that over. And then, so we're gonna look at the underside quickly. And you can see they're, they're all quite shiny, which is quite nice. So one quick flick and out they come. Oh, one more. Look at that, beautiful. Look at these truffles, aren't they gorgeous? You can see a real sheen on them. They're just beautiful looking things. That's that one, what that one looks like. Let's look at the other one. These ones are a little bit more delicate, but I'm sure just as yummy. Oh my goodness, look at those. Don't those look scrumptious. Mm. And then, I had a little bit of chocolate left over. I decided to make some chocolate bars. I'll grab those from the fridge as well. And these are some more chocolate bars that I've got. And, and again, on this side, you can see they've all got that shiny part. I've got some toasted cocoa nibs and a little bit of Mediterranean pink salt on there just to give, give a bit more flavor. And look at these, aren't they beautiful? And there you have it. I mean, chocolate bars, chocolates, truffles. I mean, oh, I can't wait to try one. Let me try, oh, I don't wanna try that one. Let me try that one, there we go. 
because you always check for the ones that are have, have little imperfections in them and those are the ones that you get to try. Oh my god. Mm. There you have it. Mm. Mm. Oh, there's quite a bit of triple sec in that, but it's really good. There you have it, chocolate truffles. It doesn't get much easier than that. I look forward to reading all of your comments. Have you ever tried chocolate? Maybe you'll let me know what your favorite method of making chocolate is in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you again.